Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Just thought I'd pop in today and show you um, a kit that I have bought, not used, and it's only going to be available for another month, so I better show it to you now before um, you miss out. Just a quick reminder, uh, my website is craftwithfee.com if you'd like anything from Stamping Up. Um, you can use my May Hostess code that will entitle you to a free gift from me at the end of May. Now, I always send out a little kit, just as a little hint there, and then I will do an accompanying video so that you can make a project and get everything in the mail to make it. Okay, so on to this beautiful kit box. It is called Three Cheers For You. It comes in a beautiful keepsake box that you can use for whatever you want. It comes with a little instruction booklet. It makes four different types of cards here and um, all of the instructions are here on this sheet here. So very simple to make. All you need to do is to add adhesive. Everything else um, comes in the kit. So I know I've not even looked at this. Slack I know, but I, I did purchase this with the um, intention of showing it to you. So here we go. So you undo your little kit and you're going to get a stamp set. Now this stamp set says, thank you, my heart can't stop smiling. That's nice. Hooray for tiny miracles. Three cheers for you. And then we also have this little abstract pattern down here as well. And then birthday wishes all around. So a very versatile stamp set that can be used for a number of um, occasions there. You also get some beautiful little embellishments, which are copper coloured sequins with little sticky dots on the back already so that you can use them straight up. So we will take them out of their little bag, pop them down here ready to use. You also get a ink spot which is in the colour of Knight of Navy and I have no fingernails these days thanks to um, COVID-19 but anyway, my nails could do with a break, so I am just painting them these days. Make them look a bit prettier. Did that work? Oh, yep, it did. That worked all right. Now we've got ink all over our fingers. So, let me just clean myself up. So that's your Night of Navy ink spot there. So we're going to be using that. I might just take that off completely. And as you can see, I have made a real right mess of myself. That's okay, it will come off. Um, then we've got a lovely roll here of linen thread for decoration. We've got a great sheet of um, our dimensionals, hexagon dimensionals. You even get your own little quilt block here. Quilt. Stamping block. What am I thinking quilts? Okay, what else have we got in here? Let me tip this out. Ooh, wowzers. Okay, so we have some cards which are all ready to go, already folded. Beautiful. Now, I should tell you what the colours are in this range. So we have the copper trims, so we've got copper. Then we've got um, terracotta tile, seaside spray, night of navy. Um, that is seaside spray as well and then this is seaside spray with knight of navy they're beautiful okay so then we get um 12 envelopes beautiful quality envelopes I'll pop them off to one side as well then we get some little um press outs so these are already they're all the same, so they're all just ready to press out. We'll pop those in a pile. Put all of our cards here in a pile. Then we've got some more press outs here. These are for sentiments. So we've got those. We've got some here which, which have got the copper trim around them as well. So we've got quite a few of those. And then we've got some glue dots. So the only thing that you need is another form of adhesive by the looks of it. Um, yep, that's all you need. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and make one each of the suggested cards in this set. And we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so the first card we're going to use is this one here. And then we need two of the little press outs. So we need two of these. There we go. And then we're going to use a bit of the linen. I just need to reach behind me to get scissors for that. Uh, and then the stamp that we need for this one is birthday wishes all around. So that's this one here. Now use your grid paper if you have it to line up your stamps when you put them onto your blocks and then that way you can get them nice and straight so that you are stamping straight. Okay, now they have um, on this one here, we've used the copper trimmed sentiment. Oops, I pulled out two there. We just need one of those. Okay, so let's get it stamped up first. We'll use our ink and we will ink up our stamp. There we go. Very cute. Okay, so we're going to use our snail to apply to the backs of these. Um, just trying to see whether or not I'm getting this about right, seeing I'm copying. But of course you don't have to do them exactly the same way as they are in this booklet. You can let your creative juices flow and do them however you want. But just for the purpose of this video, I am just going to copy what they tell you to do, just so I can show you how easy it is. Okay, now it looks to me, they've got this centered here like that, but they have um, put some linen trim. So we're just going to pull that out with our fingers so that we can straighten it. And they seem to have looped it a few times. So we will do the same. So I'm just going to put a bit of tape down there just so that I can attach it and then we'll do the same up there. We'll do another little loop there like so and then we'll just trim that off a bit. Okay, we'll get some dimensionals and we'll pop, we'll pop that up on dimensionals. So these are a great way to try our products without having to you know, go out and buy a whole lot of supplies. And of course, these little ink spots are fantastic um, for traveling too. So if you are going away, maybe you've got a caravan or something like that, and you want to do a bit of stamping, having um, the smaller stamp spots is great because you don't have to have as much room. So you can build your collection of those. And just a little hint, there are a whole collection of those coming out in their brand new catalog. So, look at that. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Now, they have popped just a couple of these little copper embellishments all around. Like that. And there we go. That is really, really cute. Okay, so that's card number one. Card number two is this one here. Sorry, I bumped my camera. So, um, now it looks like we need a whole heap of linen again, so I'll just cut off a piece of that. Pop 
that off to the side. Um, the stamp that we're using this time is Thank You, My Heart Can't Stop Smiling. So we will pop our other one back and get this one out here. Line it up on our grid. There we go. Okay, so we're going to use another one of these. And then we're going to use another of the blue flowers. It looks as though you're going to have plenty of things left over because there are way more than 12 of these. Um, so that's good news, isn't it? I always like it when you buy these kits and you get not only your projects when they're finished, but you also get everything that's left over. So you're going to have your stamps left over. You're going to have your ink spot left over. You are going to have dimensionals left over, linen thread, and lots of these little um, push-outs, as well as some of your embellishments. And you'll also have some glue dots. So a win-win. There you go, thank you. My heart can't stop smiling. How gorgeous. Right, we'll straighten out this bit of linen thread just with your fingers, just run it through. And then we're just going to make a circle like that. And then I'm just gonna run some through there like that, be a bit haphazard and then There we go. Pop it through like that. Oops. I need a license to drive these things sometimes. I'm a bit hopeless. Okay, so that looks as though it goes like like that. Then we're going to pop our sentiment up on some dimensionals again. Oops. Well, that's not very good. I've covered up my I've covered up my circle. Just move that up a bit. There we go. And then we're going to put a few of our little copper sequins around gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay now we're on to our third card now this one here says three cheers for you and it uses one of the banners so we use this one here um and then it also uses three of these. So these just simply pop out. Couldn't make it any easier, could they? I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a trim because I have a thing about those tiny little bits of paper that help hold it in. I don't like seeing those. Just give them a bit of a haircut. You probably wouldn't even notice it, but um, I can see them. Okay, now run a bit of snail. Oh, I always have trouble which way is the right way up. Now I'm going to pop this one straight in the center. 
of the card. So, I don't know, it's about, that looks to be about centre, I think. Yep, it's about right. And then one either side. These would make um, fantastic cards for any um, any male, especially. Now, I just noticed that there is a up and a down way for these. I very nearly put it on the wrong way. So the pattern goes right to the end on one side and not on the other. So if you can't live with it um, being wrong, just watch, watch it there. Okay, so we're going to be needing a bit more of the linen. I'm going to put two lots on this one. So... Just going to loosen off my circle a bit there. Put my ends in at the back. So, looks to be about there. Can of course use the enclosed glue dots instead of snail if you want, um, but I'm going the easy route. Okay. Three cheers for you is the sentiment for this card. Switch is that one there. So another way to line up your stamps, if I show you here, is to pop your stamp down first, stick into my finger. Get it nice and straight on your line and then just put your block down over. So we will ink up crooked but anyway that will do and I'm just going to trim that one a bit too because it's got a few a few little nobbles there okay we need some dimensionals Now, if you like to gift um, blank cards, which is what I like to do, we have our beautiful Perspex boxes. I didn't bring any over to my work desk to show you, but I'm thinking I might package these up in sets of four and then give some away in some of my gifts so that people can use them themselves for their own gift cards. All of these cards that we make, we don't necessarily have to use ourselves. We can gift them blank. Everyone's always looking for a card. They're just so cute. And in this time of isolation and, um, you know, everyone being um, in lockdown, and I don't think, even though some of the restrictions are going to be lifted soon here in Australia, I don't think life's ever going to go back to the way it was. So contacting our friends and family via mail in a beautiful little card occasionally is a lovely, thoughtful thing to do. And I think that card making is certainly going to be something that we continue to love and cherish as one of our um, special things that we can do for somebody by sending them a card. Okay, so we've done those three there and now we've got the last one here on the back. So I'll grab this last card is this gorgeous one here and we're going to be using another one of these little 
craft coloured, um, craft paper coloured images. I'll just give him a haircut. Okay, so that is going to go up there like like that by the looks of it. Yep. So we'll just apply that. There we go. And then our sentiment is going to be Hooray for Tiny Miracles. But of course you can switch these around if you want to make them all into birthday cards you can do so that's the beauty of having these four different sentiments in this pack is that you can pick and choose which ones you use okay now the sentiment um, that they have used the background is this one here and as I said there are so many of these um, well, let's count them. There's more than 12. So we've used two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. So you've got enough for 24. That's amazing. So you can use these on many, many other projects. Okay, so we will stamp our sentiment. Very cute. Now we need one of our terracotta tile coloured i use this sheet here that I've already used them from. Um, and then we're going to use a bit more of the linen thread, which is going to be wound up behind. Okay. So I'm just going to run a bit of that there. And then we'll do a loop-de-loop. -loop. We'll loop it up through there. And then we'll run a bit more just down here. And then we'll loop it down there as well. And maybe another loop up through there. There we go. So then we can put our flower on. We might put the flower on dimensionals this time just to be a little bit different. I'm not sure that they've done that in the original, but as I said, you're getting heaps and heaps of supplies here in these packs, so don't be stingy. Um, you'll have lots left over. You really, really will. Okay. I'm going to put our flower there like that. Oops, I should have put that under. That's okay, I can tuck that under. sure that it's not going to go over the edge. Okay, so 
finish this one off as well with a few little sparkles. Well, I decided to go ahead and make all 12 cards so that I can show you what you can make, but also what you will have left. So you make three cards with each card background. I'll show you this one first. So we have Hooray for Tiny Miracles, which is the one that we did earlier. And then we have these two here that I have made off camera. So I've used the little sequins as the centers of the flowers. I've offset some of the bits here. I've used some of the linen thread. So that's those three. So they're very, very gorgeous. And then we have the terracotta tile background ones. So this is the one here I think we did on camera. And then there are these two here, which I have done off camera. So this one has a little linen bow with a little sequin in the middle, sequins in the flowers. And then this one here, just the sequins on the end there. So that's those three. So they're very gorgeous as well. Then we have the plain navy ones. So this is the one that we did on camera earlier. And then we have these two here that I have done. So same thing, I've used sequins again all over. Some more linen thread. I chose to do the final ones in just the thank you, my heart can't stop smiling and birthday wishes all around because they're the ones that I will use the most of. So I have done that. And then finally we have these ones here. Um, they're just gorgeous. This one here, I cut a little tag, a little um, banner at the bottom of that one to make it into a little banner. This one here, I've put a little bow on top to make it a little hanging tag. And we've got the little sequins there as well. And this is the one that we did on camera together. So I have 12 gorgeous cards here now. Um, they are just beautiful. They've taken no time at all to make. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a bit of stamping on the inside of them with that abstract stamp, just to give it a little bit of a dress up. So I'll just pop all of those off to one side and let me show you what you have left. So, you will have left your Knight of Navy stamp spot. I did use a couple of the glue dots for the bows to put the bows, attach the bows. So I've got lots and lots of those left. You have your um, stamp block. You have your stamps. Lots of linen thread left. And I did use it on nearly every card. So um, you get lots of that left. I've got 13 sequins left, and I did use those on every single card. They are the stamp and dimensionals that you have left, so I've used less than half a sheet, and they have been used on everything, um, on all of the cards. Now, I have got one, I think one sheet, yeah, one sheet of these left, so there are four of those left. I have one sheet of the flowers left, so four flowers. And these are all of the little copper, get rid of my box, these are all the little copper sentiment tags that I have left. So there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven of them. So not only do I have 12 beautiful cards, but I have all of these um, items left from the kit. So I think you'll agree that um, the kit is $47. It's really good value um, because you have everything in that kit that you need to make 12 cards. It would be a great um, pastime to do with grandchildren or if you get friends over, you could all sit there and make cards together. It's just a wonderful, wonderful little kit. So it's called Three Cheers For You. And then you have your little keepsake box at the end. You could turn this into a gift box. You could decorate the top with some of these bits and pieces that you've got left quite easily. Um, and of course, you could also package up all 12 cards into this box, decorate the box, and then gift the whole lot to somebody. So anyway, um, don't forget that if you wish to order from my store, it's craftwithfee.com. 
This is this month's um, hostess code. It will entitle you to some free gifts at the end of the month, so don't forget to use it. If I can help you in any way at all, please don't hesitate to contact me. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so down below. Thanks for watching. See ya.